Good morning, people. The video coming up is a, a little tour of a friend of mine, Graham's bar in his uh, back garden it's built. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm dressed up like this. It's my new fishing coat, actually. I'm dressed up like this. I'm wandering around at Graham's bar now to uh, pick my car up because obviously one doesn't want to drink and drive. So I went around Graham's last night, had a few beers and uh, left the car there. And uh, it was quite a funny night. We're not going down to the pub after for a few more beers. Um, watch the end of this video, some very spooky, strange, or you may call them coincidental, happenings. So, um, enjoy the video, watch to the very end, and uh, see what you think. Good evening and welcome back to the channel. And today, we've, I've been invited round to a friend's house. It's a long-time friend, long-term friend, and um, subscribers of the channel. And he's also got his own little um, pub shed garden bar. Well, I say little, it's a little bit bigger now because he's had an extension built. So what I'm going to do is spin the camera around, knock on the door. He should be waiting for us. So, um, so there's his, play, his, his pub, little pub shed at the back garden there. He's telling me earlier he's got real slates on the top here, which is nice. And he's had an extension built here, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's tap on the old door. Have a little beer, he's going to show us round. Oh, got a white. He's having a tidy up, I think. And uh, he's got, give me a little gift as well. Apparently, he's got a light for me to show me. That I'm gonna put under my bar, I think. And, uh, us pub shed people, you got to share stuff out because um, I've got a load of bits and pieces. But when I hit two thousand subscribers, which is not long, I've done a little bit of a giveaway. Actually, I might be able to give one of his lights away. I'll have a little look. I'll have a chat. I'll chat him up. See if we can get one. Give away. It's taking his time. Obviously, I'm hoping to get a free beer out of him as well. Free beer, please. Right, so let's knock on his door, have a little chat, see if we can get a free beer out of him, have a little tour of his bar and uh, his extension is built, right? Oh, hello, John. Hi, <laughs> Graham, how are you how doing, are you? son? Not too bad. Right, how's the old bar? Well, I'll come out and see the extension on your bar and give us a little nice tour. Nice to see you, Johnny boy. Cheers, mate. Put the old lights on, that's it there, looking good mate. So this is the original bar. Yes it is. So this is Graham's original bar. So what have we got here? You've got flat no you've got pitch roof, haven't you? It's all pitch roof, yeah. So mate. we'll go outside in a minute, have a little look. So can we have a little nose around the bar first? Yeah, you can have a good nose around the bar. Right, four stalls there. How long do you reckon that bar is? That is two point eight metres. Two point eight metres. Are we metric are we today? Well it is two point eight <laughs> metres because it's a, it's a whole slab. Oh well, it's my oh yeah, because it's a worktop kitchen worktop, isn't it? Is it like a yeah, granite? That's nice. Right. That's the, um, what's this, the overload shelf, is it? Well, uh, you should have a look. <laughs> have, a, have a look at underneath. Right, the, uh, so you've got a uh, fridge going on there. And a freezer there. Freezer. Freezer? For me ice. Oh, right, you've got a freezer there for your ice. Nice one. Hang you on. don't have sockets there, mate. Yes, I, have, I like my sockets. What we got, what we got? You got any beers going to spare? I've got loads of beers here, John, don't worry. <laughs> uh, if you want to have a look at my uh, bottom shelf with all the spirits, you'll need to go a bit lower than that. You'll uh, let me back, mate. Your guests would like to see it, I would have thought. Well, there's the old charity box there. It's got a nice bit of space around it down here as well, depth, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Which no. I like. So I might want you much space. Well, it will, oh, we'll, be, we'll be moving it a bit. Yeah. Because I've got another mirror to go on. Now, fridge, right. Cold beers in there. I've got a four piece mirror to go on there, and I like square on that wall behind yeah. me. Yeah, I thought you had another machine. You've only got what's no, this? Got is that, that one, a sub? What's this yeah, one called? Sub, but I've got to get another sub. one. The perfect draft one, I like the one I've got is quite nice. I quite like all the different bottled beers, and I yeah, yeah, I know you go to B and M a lot, don't you? Well, I not so much now, but I go all over the place. You're like me, one minute it's flavour, yeah. next minute it's B and M. Uh, where else do I go? Flavour, I've ordered from B and M. Mighty Oak Brewery, be in a bag, and Blake, I've been using my perfect draft. I like my perfect draft. A little bit of a tribute going on to the missus, very sad, but we we'll won't. Would you like me to put my 24 hour sign on? Yeah, put that on, mate, put the sign on. Like doggy, that's nice. And I'll put uh... Do they light up those ones? All right, yeah, We've got the old neon ones going on. And you want to go for it? Yeah, I quite like this one here as well. That's all lit up, right. 
This is so. This is your original bar. Yeah. Hello, doggy. It used to. Now you've knocked through, have you? Yeah. Used to have a window now. Right. So we knocked the window out. Yeah. And we've just extended. You cut through, it. right? Let's go through. So this is like timber, isn't it? Same yeah, as yeah, all timber frame. Timber frame. So you cut through here, and you've made an extension. So you've got a door to the back there for access to the back. So you yeah. still access your back garden. Very good. Window there, double glaze for a bit of lighting. Got a bit of storage, didn't you? All that's full of drink as well. Would you like me to show you? Yeah, go on then, mate. That's a nice one. I like that. It's a nice solid bit of wood, that, mate, isn't it? Yeah, I bought it on Facebook because I'm, I'm a bit of a. Uh, that's nice. I like bargains. That's a lovely bit of wood, that, isn't it? £80, I think, I'll give Really? That. Yeah. That's good. That's good, mate. I'm a bit of a Dell boy. Right. Everybody calls me Dell boy. Because I, I'm a wheeler and dealer. I don't believe in paying for everything full price. Right, let's have a little look down the back here. Right, so this is the extension. This is what I like. You bought that. 215 pound that was for the three. That's nice. That's a three panel mirror thing going on there, isn't it? Yep. It's lovely, that is. You got those similar lights to me. The LED lights go all the way around. All the curtains and poles come to about 300 pound, you know, the whole lot. Nice. So you got this. Another Facebook bargain? Yeah, £200. Well, not much of a bargain, well, quite expensive. No, that's it? cheap, because it's brand new. Yeah, that looks nice. And then settee. Quite fancy. That cost me £320 on Facebook, £1,400 originally. What, Lady. just for the two-seater? For the two-seater and the, the cushions. That's quite That expensive. is solid. Is it? Nice. Yeah. Is that quality? Well, I'll, I'll take the cover off and you can see. You're showing off now, aren't yeah. you? That's nice. That's too good for a new bar, mate, isn't it? Well, that's why you got a cover on it. Well, <laughs> that's nice. And believe it or not, all the windows and doors. Only young ones, didn't you? Yeah, all the windows yeah, and doors. All double glazed. Cost me, because I'm a bit of a wheeler and dealer, as I said. Uh, yeah, you got a van as well, wouldn't you? £150 all in. That's good. That is a bargain, isn't it, for the um, yeah. windows and doors? I, went, I collected them. Yeah. The nearest one was, believe it or not, was that one. That was brand new, £100. Because so it looks brand new. That was, you get a lot of these units for sale on e um, eBay and Facebook. Now, believe it or not, I got them doors for thirty pounds. These doors? Yeah, I got really? them for thirty pound. That's that good. One was, that window was free. I could get something out of mine, couldn't I? Yeah. yeah. Take mine out, put double doors in like that. Yeah. A bit of double glazing going on there. This was I'll free. Keep it warm. I got this one free. That was a freebie, was it? And I paid twenty pound for the back door. Nice. Which well, you didn't really need, but you want access throughout the back. Yeah. yeah. It's always nice to get out of the back. Yeah. And also, if you want to coat it up, we'll check the leaks and stuff. Yeah. And also... Always, I, it hides your rubbish at the back as well, mate. Also, I'll put on... Uh, also, you want the lights on in here? Yeah, put the lights on. You've got lights on in here, mate. All spots. Oh, that's it. Lovely. Look at that. Uh, Very nice. And it's all done by Mark Control. Yeah. Now, I heard a little rumour. I heard a little rumour. You might have a little gift for me. I have. Yeah, I have. And this little rumour mm. is that little light on the floor down there. Oh, the room. You've got a few of them. I have. Is that my one, is it? It's, it's nice, isn't one. it? Brand new. Right, show us the settings, mate. What's it called? It's called a RGB power baton by Equinox. That's a nice bit of kit, mate. I'm going to put that under my bar. Cheers, Graham. No problem, mate. You're not going to do that. I'm going to put it under the lip of my bar, shine down on the floor. I would move those weights, but they're too heavy for me. It's a load of different settings. You've got brackets as well, in a box, yeah, brand new, in your box, as well, yeah. yeah. You've got the brackets. It's well, nice bit of kit, that, mate. I'm not sure if it's going to shut on camera soon. I think it will, but I think it will. I'm going to have that. See your bar there? You yeah. know, like the lip. I'm going to have that underneath shining down, I think. I think. Well, see how you go. Yeah. You do what you like with it. Well, done, mate, I'm pretty sure I'll put that in the boot in a moment in a minute. Very good, mate. TV up here as well for just chilling out. You only got the one TV? Go, I've got one round here. Oh, right, okay, yeah, I thought you did have. But I was a bit gonna, shocked there, one But TV. I am getting a new one. Oh, yeah? And I'm also going to put one in the corner there. Yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah. One in the corner. A lot of pubs have one behind the bar. Yeah. Just like, yeah. yeah well, I'm going to have a mirror there. I'm going to have a telly in the corner. Yeah. So a lot of pubs have them behind the bar. So when yeah. you get the beard, you watch a bit of football. And then and, you turn around. And these, uh, and these beer mats with uh, add vodka. Yeah. I got from uh, Ibiza, two visits if I've out there. If you watch my, one of my videos, I could help you out there actually. You can get, I don't know if you want all the wires, you can get um, a splitter box, they're not that deal on, on Amazon, 15, 20 quid, and it splits your signal. So what I've got on my bar, in my bar, 
I've got one TV with a fire stick coming in for the telly. You don't need to worry about that, mate. Why? Because I'm going to show you something. Oh, here we go. Well, I was, let me finish what I was saying. I'm going to say, yeah, go as my viewers know, split a box and it splits the signal up to four ports, I think. So you've got signal coming in, splits it to three, three or four different TVs. Well, this one here yeah. is going to run off three off a of one. And right. I'll show you how. All right, go on then. Nothing illegal. No. Hang on, have a little, hang on, hang on. Got another little. Because I didn't have a box. Ah, oh. this Camden Town Brewery was down Camden Town the other day, me and Jill. My, uh, my son bought me that. Yeah, we well, was down there the other day, went to that yeah. Peaky Blinders thing, didn't I? Did yeah, you yeah, see it? Yeah. Camden Town, because the brewery there, and when we went to the bars there, we were drinking our beer. Nice. Well, yeah. come on, let's have a little look. Because I didn't, I haven't got a box, I didn't have a box, so I might come round and I haven't got a box. For what? For the TV, but that's how he's done it for the time being. Oh, it's all through the, oh, it's all through the wall, is it? Yeah, but no, look at the way he's done it. Yeah. Right? And you're going to get a perfect picture now. That right. is actually off the aerial at the back. Right. But how does that put the signal through to another TV? Because that's touching. The oh. two ends touching there. Yeah. Right. So can, it goes through to tell it back anyway. Yeah. Oh, right. But it's going to run the other one. Yeah. I've got a. Uh, I've actually got the aerial cable sitting on this fence here. Right. And we're going to run it all the way round the back. Yeah, hang on, let me show you. I do, like, I do like these mirrors. It makes the room look twice as big, doesn't it? You bought them locally, didn't you? Yeah, from Mark, from the Hockley Garden Centre. Fantastic. Don't give away our address. Oh, I didn't give <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Yeah, they're nice. I'm going to visit that place next to the next door, isn't it? You said? Yeah, yeah. Next to the Hockley Garden Centre. He does all this stuff there, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, I bought that. I like that. And I bought that. Be nice than your whole wife. I bought this as well. But if I don't lit that up, I'll yeah. light that up for you. What's that? Yeah, I want it to see. Oh, what's that? Is that. That's just like a. It's a 3D box. Yeah. I like that. So, what's this jukebox feeling on top? Well, you want to see that all done as well, don't Yeah, you? is that like a radio or CD no, player? It's, uh, hang on. I'll get it going. Oh, it's on Apple. Is it on your phone? No. Oh. Oh, I got so you got your phone now. Yeah. Can't have any illegal music. Well, I've, well don't go. We can. I'll just um, skip it. Well, I'll put it on YouTube. Yeah, go on then. Yeah. What's it? Um, Bluetooth then. Yeah, it's Bluetooth. It's a big Bluetooth speaker that looks like um. Doggy, what do you want to go out? Oh, Johnny Boy let you out. Do you want to go out, mate? Do you want to go out? Come on in, there you go. Off you go, come on in. You go out. Good boy. Well, that's a warm league, right, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Soberfest all over. Yeah. I like that, I do like that, it's nice.
that's better. Shame for like, we'll put it down in a minute when I. I can always get a CD. And put a yeah, but when I, no, when I put this on YouTube, they'll complain about copyright issues, isn't it? What, will they and, gonna, um, are you going to win a uh, Yeah, 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 they will, yeah, um, copyright. And with us talking as well, I've got to try and edit bits out, it's going to be um, difficult. Right, we're going to have a, I'll tell you what I like as well, this little tin man. What beer would you like, John? What have we got, mate? Got so I'll sit up at the bar. You've got Cronenberg's, San Miguel. That sounds good, doesn't it, San Miguel or something? You want a can of San Miguel? Yeah, mate. I'm gonna have a Cronenberg. I'm sitting up at the bar. She's nice to have a bit of space. My bar's a bit of a mess at the moment, mate. And obviously, I don't know whether you got that, but that's where everybody puts. I tell people not to bring drink round. That's Chuck a, good a idea. few quid in my in my box because obviously my wife passed away at Fair Havens, and I do a lot of work for char for charity for Fair Havens. I'm doing a uh, charity function. For my wife at the Rock, uh, can I say? Can I say? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. At the Rochford Hotel, in the name of my wife, because she passed away on my twenty-fifth wedding anniversary, yeah. and I feel was it a couple of years ago? Or was it one? What yeah, is it? it's just over. Well, it's about fourteen months. Yeah, and yeah, I'm devastated. And yeah. the only thing I can do is give something back, is to raise some money for them. And I said I've got this at me bar. I, do, I put. I've got another three charity boxes out that I've put it through, <coughs> through local shops and that to try and make without people like me and everybody else, yeah. they're not gonna they're not gonna survive. No. And it's um, it's my way of giving back to them. Yeah. So I'm doing a free course meal, half a bottle of wine. That's at the Rockford Hotel, drink. isn't it? Yeah, it's forty yeah, pound. Me and Jill forty going. pound a pop. Yeah. And twenty pound of each ticket goes straight yeah. to the cost. That's next year, isn't it? Yeah. Early next year. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so, going to rally up the troops, we'll have a crowd, we'll fill that up. Yeah, Don't worry about that. Let me know, because yeah. the tickets are going to go really quick. Yeah. So, <coughs> I've got a bit of a cough. Since I've had this flu jab, I've got a mouthful. Uh, you know, it's it's a well worth calls and I don't need the money, but they do. Yeah, let's put this tripod like that. There you go. So, and it's a new, new thing out there, it's called Therapy Through Nature. And it's basically, it helps all the people that, you know, are sadly in that position. Yeah. If they've got nowhere to go, they can go and grow things. And I was speaking... Oh, I know. Yeah. And I was speaking to a man there, and he's got a uh, lung cancer stage four. And he was telling me if he didn't have this group to go to... Yeah. He would have given up months ago. Yeah. And do you know what I thought? It's a well worth calls, and that's why I'm raising the money like right. I am. So right. anybody, any, any subscribers that do John, if you would like to donate, John will happily put it in this pocket. Actual fact: if you click the link below this video, there'll be a little like it says thanks below this video. When I put this live, um, when I put it on YouTube, there's a little thanks button. Click thanks, put a comment that you've donated, and I'll put it give it straight to go. Um, Slap the gram in the box. And right, I'm moving the camera, mate. We'll have a beer and we'll drink to a... It'd be much appreciated. We'll drink to that, yeah, mate. Thank you for that little tour, mate. No problem. And we'll have, let's put, let's raise a glass to Steph. Raise a glass to Steph. To you, darling. To Steph and to the many others. Definitely. That me and you've... And Cheers, everybody. I hope you like my man cave. I've uh, decorated the extension how I thought Steph would have liked it. Well, she okay. loved all that silver glittery stuff, yeah, didn't and she? and that's the that. reason I've yeah. done it the way I have. So. Right, we'll drink that, mate. Thank you for watching, people. Cheers with bites around Graham for the tour. We'll have no a couple problem. more of these, shall we? Oh, yeah. Cheers, like, subscribe, and as I said, there's a thanks button below. If you put a comment put um, a comment below, thanks, donate a pound or whatever, put it straight in Graham's, uh, donate it straight out to Graham, and we'll put it to the charity. Uh, it's all legit, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is. I actually dropped a full box off yesterday that I got that I put in my local shop. They filled up with about eight weeks and I took it straight down there to them. Yeah, nice one. Cheers, that Graham. Because Ch Ch thank you for letting us sh showing us around and no thank problem. you for the uh, thank you for the beer and thank you for the light. No problem. Cheers, mate. Thank you.
Right, man, Graham's bar. Now, following on from last night, Graham, we've got a funny story to tell, haven't we, last night? What happened yeah. last night? I'll, I'll let you tell a story. Right, so what happened was, we was around Graham's bar, if you watched the video, we just watched, having a few beers, and then you told me about your missus, who passed away, bless her, Steph, and you do a lot of charity work at Haven's Hospice, yes, didn't you? Yes, I Which know. you're still doing. I'm still doing, yeah. And as I've said before, uh, there'll be a little thanks button at the bottom, so click that if you want to donate, we'll, we'll transfer it over. So what happened last night, we had a couple of beers, didn't we? And while you're telling me about Haven's Hospice, Lo and behold, hospice runway. They phoned you up, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. It'd be nice, you know. At least they know yeah, that it's that I've taken it yeah. down, and you know they've actually know that they're the shop. Yeah, exactly. What's the name of the shop? I thought I was just good for It's you. called. And I and I went into my tire place that I go to. I've not. I've been there going here for about twenty odd years, and I told him about you know uh, that I've you know I've put a box in uh, yesterday. And he, and he turned around and said to me, well, why don't you give me a box to put in mine? I'll, I'll, I'll put a box in my place. So, oh, if, so, if, you, so if you sort me another one out, because I might be coming down yeah. Wednesday. So if you, okay, sort, no worries, if you sort me another box out, I'll... Uh... So that's that story, which is nothing amazing in itself. Now, then I was talking to you, I think it's in a video, then I was talking to you about these little machines, one of the perfect driving yeah. machines. You're and he's right. also talking to me about Steph was into... Was into um, Psychics and psychic and stuff like that. Life after death. So I was having a little chat about that. I was having a few beers, having a chat about the perfect draft machines, yeah. etc. We finished our beers off. We locked up the bar. Then we headed down our local, didn't we? For a couple we of did. points. We did. As we're going down the road, what happened? I, I got I got a little message from a friend of mine, Michael. Yes, you did. Totally out of the blue. And what did he say? About the perfect draft machine. Totally, totally out of blue. Unrelated. A friend of mine, Michael, uh -oh. our friend Michael, messaged me about a perfect draft machine for sale around the corner where we live. It happened to be another mate of mine, because I've got so many mates. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to be another guy that I know who was selling his perfect draft machine because he upgraded to the pro. And he's selling his perfect draft machine, which we were just about talking about, weren't we? Yeah. And he's got a beer with it as well that's kept in the fridge, refrigerator, chilled, ready to, ready to pour it on. So we're going to do that in a minute, we're going to put it on in a minute. But that happened. As we got into the pub, I had a couple of pints, what happened? You came around the corner with a ticket, didn't you? I said, look, John, I hope you don't mind. A psychic night. <laughs> so, you know, it was all meant to be. But weird. I'm, but unfortunately, How my weird wife was didn't come through. But oh, So Graham comes around the corner, I hope you don't mind, John, we have to leave it, because next time I done a psychic night, he has a ticket to go to the psychic night. So I said, so it's three things that happened. Really, really weird. Anyway, we're back round here this morning because we've gone round to our mate Bradley's. We've bought the, uh, his Graham's bought the machine. And we're going to set it up because he's got a beer. Now, I told you before, here's the perfect draft machine. Now, we've only ignored that, we've just sort of like doing it roughly. Temporary. He's even got a free beer with it, look, and now mate Bradley's left that in the fridge. Because if you refrigerate these overnight, or put them in the freezer for a couple of hours maximum, so they go flat if you're not careful, they're nice and chilled already. And then when you put it in the machine and it's plugged in, it sits on this chiller plate, yeah? So if you put it in just straight from the website, so what you do, Graham, first, turn it off. Right, take this off. Let's put it up on the bar, mate. Can't remember right. So you pull that off. Then you, you rip that off and take that off. Come on, buddy, you can do it. That's it. Take that off. That's it. Expose that. Now what happens is with this, what I love about these machines is with every one of these. You get one of them. So you undo that. You got it. And you thread all that through the top there, mate. Through the arm. You thread all the pipe in there. That goes in there. Yeah, thread all the pipe through first. Through the nozzle. So basically, you're not really, this is just fake, basically. That Come goes through. in. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Turn it up the other way, mate. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Through, that's it, push that in. I don't, I don't know if you can push it in completely yet or not. What happens is now, I think press, press that button, see that little blue button. That's it, right now, that, you push that down onto there. And that locks on. Do a sharp tap, push down. Is that on? It's gotta be nice and snug. No, push it really, it clicks on. Tight. Don't bang it. That's it. That's on. Put that in. Press it through. That's it. 
I can't remember now if you do that first or after, but at the end of the day, that's on nice and solid and tight. That's moving about. Yeah? Yep. Now, bring it over to here. Lift this up. That slides into the back there. See that just lock in the back there? Yeah. yeah. There, lift these up. Put, Put them down. down yeah. That's locked in position, mate. Shut the doors. Makes a little noise. It tells you that you've got 30 days there. I mean, you can ignore that. It's just a timer. It just counts down. As much beer as in there, so that's full up. All right, tells you, yeah. Roughly. It's not an accurate gauge. It tells you it's 8 degrees at the moment in beer. So you want it down to 3 So if you leave that half hour, that'll go down to 3 degrees and that's where it go. So? With the drip tray, slide it back slightly. Can I unplug it if I want to? You can unplug it, obviously it won't be chilled. Yeah, but I can unplug it. To move it about. To a quick second then change yeah, the extension. Yeah, you can move it about and do what you want with it. Just, you know, treat it. So it's sitting on that chiller plate there. And then that hooks on underneath. I think it just sits under. I, think, I don't know if you lift it up or it sits on the, Does it sit under there or not? Or not? Just, no, go on. No, it won't. Okay. Just sits like that. There you go. Sit, so, because you took it, put it in a fridge for you, Bradley. That's at three degrees already. And when you pour these, I've been told, I've done, I've done a video about it, but when you pour these, Graham, three degrees you on that, really. Yeah. But I'm a bit, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to have one now, type yeah. thing. Yeah, right. And when you pull that tap, don't be shy, glass up at 45 degrees, not an angle. Don't be silly with this, give it one big hoof. Do you know what I mean? And it's ready to go. Nice bit of kit. Right, you going to have a little pour or not? No, no, no a bit early. Early. I had a few too late like, to many last night. <laughs> right. I did get into Thank them you. two this morning. Cheers. So. Thank you for watching, people. Thank you. See you again. Don't forget, donate.